Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to ACW Impulse 31 here tonight at the Impulse Arena. And apparently we're going to kick things off with the ACW Impulse Champion, Gohan. Yes, I did not stutter. Gohan is still the ACW Impulse Champion, especially off from ACW Fusion. The crowd not responsive to him as always. But Gohan doesn't give a damn about the crowd anymore. Not after since he split off to the Naruto and Degeneration X. Now he's his own man. But the questions need to be answered. What the hell was Broly doing at Gohan's match against Ryu at Fusion for the ACW Impulse Championship? Despite Vegeta not only being banned from ringside, but Goku fending Vegeta off to have any sort of involvement. Gohan was still able to retain. We're going to have to get some answers here. I would love to understand where the hell that plan went and why was it so successful. And Gohan has the microphone. Here we go. Wait, wait, what? What? You gotta be kidding me. That was the whole plan? mess that really has lost his fire he's lost his pride he's lost his manhood but yet here he is here at the impulse 31 about to give going a beat down well deserved and justified after being screwed for the second mega event in a row for the impulse championship and a leg drop onto the leg we is gonna make sure gohan has a price to pay here tonight oh and gohan out of nowhere tackles down ryu and we'll punch him down and it looks like Gohan's gonna try to, oh no. And Gohan, no way, Ryu's gonna kick Gohan off of him. And Ryu, oh my god, he's at the arm bar. The arm bar to Gohan, the arm bar, and he's not letting go. He is not letting go. He wants to make sure Gohan remembers this. For the second, the second consecutive mega event, Ryu has been screwed out of an Impulse Championship match and Gohan is able to retain, and look at Ryu, he's calling down the action here, right here and right now. Gohan wants to, re wants to, oh look at this stretch, look at this submission stretch. But nonetheless, Ryu, 
is fighting back to Spike Dawn, creating a new force here in ACW Impulse to protect his hide, to protect his Impulse Champion. And look at this! Look at this! The Hado! The Hado at the door! You better believe he's not gonna let go! He's not gonna let go one bit! And Dawn is out! We're trying to get order here, but we does not want to comply. And Dawn goes over the top rope and sent back in by that man Ryu, the man who should be the Impulse Champion at the Fusion. And Ryu's making his presence still here tonight. No matter what regime, no matter what power, no matter what faction, he will still be on Gohan as he is in search for that Impulse Championship that he rightfully deserves. Gohan is on, is on, is on, is, cannot believe this. But Ryu stands still and strong here tonight to kick off Impulse 31. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to ACW Impulse 31. ACW Impulse 31. Yes, it tends to be a lot here in ACW Impulse these days. Because Gohan just came out earlier and revealed that the Fusion plan for him to retain the title at Fusion was all calculated and that it all escalated to combine three powerful sayings that would form the same regime consisting of Gohan, Vegeta, and Broly. Those three unstoppable forces have combined to create a regime that's very unholy and powerful. But it wasn't until Ryu would interrupt Gohan and would attack Gohan and send him outside of the ring. Or after hooking up the Hado, making Gohan pass out. So apparently Ryu is not phased by this regime. Ryu is not at all scared of this regime. Ryu does not see it as a threat. So I don't know if Ryu is unaware of the regime, or if he was just so emotionally fueled to just go after Gohan as a result, but nonetheless, he did his job. And Ryu is still in the arena, and so is Gohan, so a lot of stuff is gonna go down here tonight, I am sure of that. But we're gonna kick off ACW after that, that little segment there, with now this matchup, a cruiserweight match between Ryoma Edgerton and that man, Dennis. Wasn't a good night for Ryoma Edison at Fusion as he did lose to Joe Agashi for a second time on a second consecutive mega event for the Cruiserweight Championship. And as per stipulation, Ryoma Edison, as long as Joe Agashi is the Cruiserweight Champion, cannot challenge for the Cruiserweight title. So Ryoma Edison is no longer a contender for the championship, whether he wins this match or not. But it would say a lot for Dennis if he were able to win this match to be able to defeat a former Cruiserweight Champion in Rio Edgerton. As both men are gonna test the fields right now and Dennis will poke to the eye onto Rio Edgerton. Spinning kill right there, kicks the gut. And oh man, a nice spinning leg kick right there onto the ch uh, former ex-champ. And here's a single leg crab here, but I believe Rio Edgerton will have the rope right there. This is a great matchup for Dennis as Joe Agashi has been complaining after Fusion that he would like to see new challengers for his title now that he has defeated the last Cruiserweight Champion before him, Ryoma Edgerton, and now Ryoma cannot challenge for the title as per stipulation rules that both men did agree on before their match at Fusion. So could that man be Dennis? Oh man, and a nice arm drag. Could that man be Dennis? Could Dennis be the next in line, or will it be somebody else that we do not know at this time? The only time will tell. But I believe Real Magic will not give Dennis an easy way out. Real Magic will still put 100% and will still put his all into that match as he gives a DDT towards Dennis. If you haven't watched ACW Fusion yet, please do so. And oh, a head scissors from Dennis out of nowhere. But as I was saying, if you have not seen ACW, no way, cover. One, two, and Ryoma with his head up. But that guy was trying to say, if you have not seen ACW Fusion, go check it out. It's right now at Blip TV and VO. 
or any other video site that does carry ACW Fusion, go check it out. A great, great mega event from ACW, as always. As Dennis is up top of the turnbuckle. We almost up. And Dennis, Dennis is going up top here. Oh, my goodness. Her Karana from the corner all the way to the outside. And that's, dare I say, vintage Dennis. I think. Oh, and that kick sends Ryoma to the inside. Wow, what a hurricanrana, though. Covered by Dennis. One, two. And Dennis will let go, knowing he has to do more. We're going to take a look at this. It's a replay here. Look at Dennis here. Hurricanrana off the top turn, but onto the outside. Sending Ryoma edges and Dennis out. We are back to the live action. And Dennis will go for another single leg crab here. Ryoma looking for the ropes, but cannot reach it. Just barely there, but Dennis lets go. Now Dennis pick up Ryoma Edges in here. Irish whip. And no, Dennis will roll along in with the drop kick right into the face of Ryoma Edges in. And Dennis right now showing a lot of resilience towards the former Cruiserweight champion in Ryoma Edges in. But Ryoma is reversing. And now Ryoma, oh, and a clothesline sends down Dennis hard. And another hard clothesline sends him down. Another one onto Dennis. Dennis with the fourth one given to him. A fifth one by Ryoma. A sixth one. Ryoma looking for a world record or something? But Dennis swings back and stops him with the DDT. And that will stop any man. Ask Jake the Snake Roberts when he's sober. Dennis is on the corner. Dennis, 450. Oh, no, it was not a 450, but overall sent on leg drop. Mistaken right there. Covered by Ryoma Edgerton's leg right onto the ropes. Arsha by Dennis, Ryoma edges it. Oh, and Ryoma gets kicked down by Dennis. Thought it was going for his finisher, the whirlwind kick there, but did not do that. As now Ryoma will try to get back on the offense here. And as much as I'm trying to call this match, I'm still kind of in shock of how we started Impulse here tonight. With Gohan letting everybody know that there is a new regime in ACW Impulse with him, Vegeta, and now Broly. I don't know how the hell Gohan and Broly, much less Broly and Vegeta, were able to come to a inclusion that all three of them need to team up and be one unholy alliance to take down any opposers here in ACW Impulse. But that's exactly what Gohan announced. And then Ryu came out and just took down Gohan, put him in the high dough, and sent him out of the ring. And you can bet that this night is not over between those two. Not by a long shot. Now we're almost down here as Dennis. With another head scissors takedown. Dennis is on a roll here. Still to come, ladies and gentlemen, Anime 4 Kids, Ash Ketchum, and Brock will be in two on two action against the Straw Hat crew, Luffy and Zoro. And those two teams have a lot of history between each other, which will be settled here tonight on Impulse 31 to see who is the better team. We will find out between these two teams who will get the upper advantage. Oh, that's Dennis with a punch to the groin. You don't see that a lot from Dennis, but I guess to do whatever he has to do. Light drop, barely, barely missed. But Dennis will try to capitalize, but Ryoma's back up now. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Ryoma, game, set, match. Will he nail it? Yes, he will. And that usually puts opponents away. But Ryoma is not covering. He's being a little bit too proud there. Now it goes for the cover, but will that be enough? One, two, three. No, Dennis with the arm up. And we're going to look at the instant replay here. Ryoma with that nice game set match out to Dennis. And here's another cover by Ryoma. Small package. One, two, no. And Dennis gets out of it. Also here tonight on Impulse 31, Edward Elric will go one-on-one -on -one against Mugen. And yes, it is for the television championship here tonight. Mugen will get to face Edward Elric for the ACW Television Championship tonight in our main event. Yes, that is right, our main event tonight on Impulse 31 cover. One, two, and Ryoma with the shoulder up. Back to the action here, though. Dennis, Irish with Ryoma. Dennis, no, Ryoma with the... Knee smasher onto Dennis's face. And that'll certainly sit him down as Ryoma will look to capitalize. And try to wear down Dennis here. But no, Dennis is going to try to kick out Ryoma here. As Ryoma backs up a little bit, a little groggy. 
and Dennis. No, Ryoma pass him up. No, Dennis. Dennis with a roll up here, but Ryoma's leg right onto the ropes. Very lucky for Ryoma. Indeed, Ryoma ducks that clothesline from Dennis. Ryoma misses that grapple. Dennis exhausted as hell now. He's got to be. Dennis will turn around here, but look at Ryoma. Clothesline, no. And Ryoma landed badly on his knee there. This could be a perfect opportunity for Dennis to take over here. Look at that, Ryoma's dazed. He doesn't even know where he's at. And Dennis will look to take advantage, hopefully. Punch with the form. Kick sends him down. Ryoma and Dennis are just fighting to the death here, apparently. Oh, no, not whirlwind kick, but it was a nice kick to the face. And there it is! There it is! The whirlwind kick! Nailed! And Ryoma is busted open. The blood flowing through his forehead. And Dennis taking a little too time. The cover though. One, two, three. And yes, it will do it. And Dennis defeats Ryoma Edgerton here tonight. Here's your winner. Dennis. Great matchup between two elite cruiserweights here. And we're going to show you the finish here. As Dennis is now able to nail the whirlwind kick. Onto Ryoma Edgerton busted him open and then the three count was pretty much elementary there. Ryoma put up a great effort, but Dennis on this night was able to defeat Ryoma Edgerton. And this could only mean good things for Dennis. Well, Edward Elric does have a television championship match with Mugen, so he is here as we await for Elric. E Wait a minute. This isn't Edward Elric's music, but it is Sagat's music. What is this all about? As Gar is a little bit perplexed as we are right now, that Sagat right now is coming out to confront Gar, I guess. I, I don't know what's going on. Let's, let's hear from Sagat. Sagat backing away from Gar, even though Gar invited him into the ring. And I'm very sure we have not heard the last between these two. Not by a long shot. As shots have been fired and words were exchanged here tonight. Welcome back to ACW Impulse 31. The following tag team contest is scheduled for what fall? On the way to the ring, from parts unknown, Ashley. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to see a match that has a lot of history behind itself. Because it was Ash Ketchum and his partner Brock that were interfering in the Straw Hat Crew's matches and segments that led to the Straw Hat Crew confronting who was doing it, and it ended up being Ash and Brock, and they were attacking them, humiliating them, insulting them, verbally and physically. 
So this match has been set up between the two teams, the Strong Half Crews, Monkey D. Luffy and Roma Zora facing off the Anime 4 Kids, the old school Pokemon Masters of Brock and Ash Ketchum, here tonight on Impulse 31. And I can tell you it's going to get a little bit personal as Ash Ketchum is mocking the very same people that used to look up to him as kids. As we now wait for his partner. From Parts Unknown, the Bull! There is Brock. And to think that Ash Ketchum and Brock used to be childhood heroes to some of these people here tonight and now have turned the other cheeks, so to speak, to a whole new other side that we have never seen between these two before. I blame four kids. And Al Khan. And Crappy Ducks. And Crappy Censorship. You get the idea, okay? You get the idea. But that is still no excuse for the action that these two have created. And it will be settled here tonight. As Ash and Brock continue to taunt the crowd here as we await for the Straw Hat crew, Luffy and Zoro. And here we go! And there they are! The Straw Hat crew, former Impulse Tag Team Champions, one of the very strongest staples of the tag team division here at Impulse. And quite honestly, of all ACW, the premier tag team here in ACW. But there have been some sort of a downward slump as of late. Not being in tag team title contention because of the anime four kids disrupting those plans to get back on top. So the Strive crew understand that they have to take down anime four kids in order to get back to the top again. So this is going to be a match. This could turn into a fight if, you're, if we're not careful, or if they're not careful. And here we go. I believe Luffy and Ash are going to start things off for their respective corners. And here we go. And there it is. Luffy with a kick to the face to start it off. And Brock getting attacked by Luffy as well. Nobody's safe here. Moonsault onto Ash. Elbow drop. Clothesline sends Ash down. Drop kick sends Ash and Brock down. Moonsault takes down Ash. And Luffy not wasting any time getting his hands on Anime 4 Kids. And a spinning backbreaker. But look at this Brock there. Brock with chops into Luffy. And Luffy on oh, Brock with that drop to hold sending Luffy's throat onto the ropes. And will give Ash an opportunity. Oh, look at that. Look at Ash. Look at Ash trying to get the hell out of Dodge here and go for a quick cover. Being the true cowards that they have been recently. But now that the Straw Hat crew can stand for it. Irish whip sends Luffy to the outside. Luffy goes right back in, but Ash chops him right back down. And Ash catches him, showing a lot of aggression here. An Irish whip. A tag onto Brock, and Brock on oh, a kick around to the ribs. You know, despite all these attacks, and all the video interruptions, and all the insults, we never understood really why Ash and Brock targeted Luffy and Zoro. We never understood why these two are going after these these guys. We never understood. And look at this, Brock is not letting go of that hold, that bow and arrow hold, and does that three before he got disqualified. And there's a cover by Brock. One. And Luffy with the head up. But yeah, Brock and Ash have never explained why they have gone after Luffy and Zoro or what their true intentions were to do what they're doing here. And oh my goodness, a face buster sends down Luffy. One, two. And that'll be a two count by Luffy. By Zoro. I mean by Brock with Luffy getting the shoulder up. Man, just a little dazed right now. And, oh, and a double spine buster sends Luffy down as Zoro's asking for the tag. One, two, and, Zoro and Luffy with the shoulder up as we're going to take a look at this. It's a replay. Oh, that double spine buster looks sick. And now German suplex as we're back live. And Ash and Brock are doing a great job isolating Luffy from Zoro here. Roll up here, cover, and no, Luffy with the ropes. With the ropes. 
chops him down. Luffy looking to attack Brock here, and Ash gets taken down by Luffy. And Luffy looking right at Brock. Clotheslines him down, knowing damn well the interference. And now Luffy's going to drag Ash out. Look at Ash going for the ropes like a coward. Oh, but a guillotine on the lower end of the ropes. And Brock's going to look to try to get back in here for some revenge. Dropping onto Ash. Sweep onto Brock. And the kick sends Brock down. As Luffy taking no nonsense from the anime four kids. And look at this Luffy going for the abdominal stretch. Well, you can just tell that Luffy's holding his ribs here. It's not looking good right now. The cover. One, two, and no. Goes up top. Luffy. Oh, and sends him down with that. That kick to the face from the top turnbuckle. That nice calf kick. And Brock goes down again by Luffy. As Luffy's gonna look to go for a cover here, will he? No. Yes! Ash goes for the cover, the cover! Whoa, no! Brock interrupts it before the referee can even go for one. And look at this. Zoro's now in the ring here. Zoro has Brock. And the ref goes down. Not knowing where the hell he is, and Ash took him down by that cross body. As Zoro and Brock are looking at each other from the outside, and oh, Luffy elbow drop, looking for Brock, but did not get him. And oh man, that could have. Oh wait, no, Luffy. But yeah, yeah, Luffy. Luffy getting taken out of his element there. As Zoro's gonna give Ash a ride, and I believe Ash's pokeballs will not be pleased whatsoever. Pikachu is not happy right now. I will tell you that. Look at that, Brock taking care of Luffy here. And Luffy's still dazed from missing that elbow drop. That could have messed up his old body here. Luffy's back up, but you can tell that Luffy is fighting on broken parts here as he needs to tag his partner Zoro, but will continue on his own. Ash from behind. And look at that, the abdominal stretch. But luckily, Luffy's at the road, but look at Ash. Ash is applied onto it, and he needs to let go before five, four. Oh man, and that had to mess up Luffy bad. That had to. And Brock put his whole weight onto the back of Luffy, and Luffy's back has to be damaged. I don't care who you are, as Ash just took down Zoro too. Ash is gonna try to recover here. But Luffy's whole body has to be just hurting right now. The cover, this could do it really. One, two, no. Elbow to the knee to the gut. Ash. Oh, man, they are working on that back. They are going to work on that back because that belly to back suplex just really snapped Luffy down. And Luffy could be down and out here. This is not good. Not good at all. Now Ash once again isolating Luffy from Zoro here. Luffy ducks under. Cap kick sends down Ash. But Luffy has got to tag in Zoro. But Luffy is still going for it. Luffy. Oh man. The Topica. Can he tag his partner in? Can he get it? He's trying. And he finally gets it. And Zoro's in. And you can tell Luffy is just damaged. Completely damaged. Irish whip. Takes him down. Oh, and Zoro down. And it's starting to become a very big cluster right now. As Zoro. Suplex with the ropes assisting him. But look at Brock. Getting. Oh, look at this. Kick to the chest. Brock looking for the opportunity to take down Zoro. As the ref tells Brock to get back to his corner. Zoro back up now. He's going to take care of Ash. Now look at this, Zoro telling Ash to get up. But can that be enough? Zoro up top, elbow drop, connects to Ash's chest. His blackened chest. I said it. Irish up into the ropes. 
And a front drop kick sends Ash all the way to the back. Two. And an elbow drop sends Ash down again. Zora Irish was Ash to the corner. Oh no. Here it is. He's got it. Double Jeopardy. I mean, sorry, the double swords. I might add. Double Jeopardy is his single leg crab finisher. But the double swords did take out Ash, and now Brock's gonna pay as Brock Irish stripped over the top rope by Zoro. As you'll see that again, the double swords is the replay. Ash totally took it out. Ash Irish stripped now. Flapjack! Very close to the ropes there, might I add. And now Zoro looks to have this whole under control by the Strat Crew Corner. Now Luffy is tagged in. I believe Luffy feels good enough to go to attack. Luffy now. And Luffy! That's arm drag. Luffy once again will go for the La Topica. And Luffy feeling the. He's feeling it again. But there's Brock. There is Brock. Waiting. But Luffy saw it. Luffy saw Brock. And look at that. Luffy. Luffy knew Brock would come in. And now Luffy is going to nail the gum gum blast. And Brock goes down. Brock goes down. Brock goes down. And as the referees look at that Brock Ash with that jaw break out of nowhere. German suplex onto Luffy. And that back once again is acting up. This is not good at all. Ash from behind on the abdominal stretch. He's going to stretch out Luffy this time. And Luffy gave up! Luffy gave up! Oh my goodness! Here are your winners! Oh my god! Ashley! Ash catch him upon the abdominal stretch! And Luffy's back must have given out! Because Luffy just submitted to Anime Forkies! Look at this! The back must have given out because he just gave up! He submitted! He didn't even get pinned! He didn't get counted out or disqualified! He submitted! to anime four kids. Apparently our general manager is talking about food more importantly than the same regime when he to contendership. But there's our television champion Mugen coming out to the ring up next. Mugen defends the title against Edward Elric. Next on Impulse. Welcome back to ACW Impulse 31. It is now time for our main event of the evening. As you can see here, Edward Elric made his intro during the commercial break and I can tell you Edward Elric looked a little bit pale and worried because of the previous warning earlier tonight by Gara that he is looking for Edward Elric and he will find him but Edward Elric does have to focus on Mugen tonight it is for the television championship as Mugen will defend it here tonight Edward Elric though on the outside not a good start for him look at that Mugen has no fear no doubt in his mind that he is the best at what he does. And a middle finger. As Edward Elric will look to run that in here. Mugen with a punch to the gut. Mugen, sledgehammer shot. Irish whip. Both are together. Close line sends down Edward Elric. 
And Mugen on fire here to start this match off. He's going to go for the early cover here. Well, that put him away. One. And Edward Elric's shoulder is up. As much as Edward Elric is worried, Edward Elric is a top class athlete in his own right. A former television champion. Main evented Animania 2. Has been given numerous Impulse Championship matches. As a reference down, thanks to Mugen, accidentally. So Edward Elric is a top tier talent. And Mugen knows that. As much as you might want to deny it, as Edward Elric just like that, with a face crash onto the face. And as Edward Elric untying the turnbuckle, and the referee does not know that that just happened, and the drop kick onto the back of Mugen. Wow, what a match earlier before the commercial break. Anime 4 Kids and Straw Hat Crew, Luffy submitted, tapping out, giving up against Ash Ketchum because the bat just gave up. It was just too much. But he gave up nonetheless, and Anime 4 Kids won their first encounter between the two. And I can tell you that Luffy and Zoro have to be deeply devastated. I don't know how devastated, but it has to be deeply. That's Edward Elric with that crotch shot onto the pole. And now he's going to take Mugen's leg to town here, as only Edward Elric can. Smashes it onto the pole. And he'll do it again. And he'll do it again. And Edward Elric is going to become relentless with that leg. Mugen able to get out of it as Edward Eric used a lot of power to do so. Look at this, Mugen. Mugen. Elbow drop sends Edward Eric down from the outside. The referee starting up the count again as Mugen. Oh, and there's that steel pole shot, some revenge. But you gotta know Mugen's leg is irritating him, but he's gonna hide the pain to defend the title and hopefully retain it tonight. Now Mugen goes through the cover. One. No. Shoulder up by Edward Elric. Now Mugen with the Irish shoot Edward to the ropes. Close on would not go this time. Edward Elric takes now with those shots to the forearm. Shots to the forearm. Austin Mugen's back and now a knee drop. Edward Elric does not to play the game. Do not let his small stature and do not call him small because he does not like that. But nonetheless. Do not let that small stature fool you because he does moves like that that can beat you with an instant. And Edward Eric has came a long way. The very first episode. The very first episode of ACW Impulse. He was squashed against Gohan. And now look at him right now. Probably one of the best top tier talents in all of ACW. Whether you like his attitude and personality or not. Edward Eric goes for the cover here. And no, Mugen had his hands on the ropes in the nick of time here. Edward Eric goes for another roll up. One, two. And Edward Eric is just seconds away from becoming a two time television champion. And a close on Sensei Mugen. And an elbow shot onto the face of Mugen. People forget that Edward Eric is just as physical as, say, Mugen. He has proven that time and time again. Can never forget at high voltage in 2007 in that ladder match against Trunks, a brutal match that cemented Edward Elric as one of the best in ACW. Oh, and a drop kick. Well, who could forget that match with Gohan, where the television and Rose Desert Championships were on the line? Cover one, two, and you go kick out. And Edward Elric defeated Gohan in that match at the Royal Rumble in 2008. I mean, at Anime Revolution in 2008 to become a double champion. Edward Elric also being a Rogue's Destiny champion. Cashing against Beast Boy, who was the ACW champion at, at the Impulse champion at that point. Lost to him. Oh, and Edward Elric's arm snapped into the floor. Cover. One, two, and the shoulder up by Edward Elric. We're getting a little dumbfounded. Punch to the face. And another one on to Elric. Arsham to the corner. Close line onto the back. Kick to the back. Punch. Punch. And Elric all just has to go down. He has no choice. But Mugen is pretty much out. 
And now Edward will take advantage of it and will wing the arm, snap it down. Mugen will push back. Mugen cannot continue the run. Edward Eric will Irish whip, but Mugen is just out. Too much offense has it pooped. Bulldog sends Mugen down. And can Edward Eric be seconds away from winning the title here? One, two, and no. Mugen's head goes up. A pity up, but. Edward Eric now is losing gas. Clothesline sends down Edward Eric, and a hard one at that. And those clotheslines have been very handy for Mugen. He does some of the best of them here. Edward Elric. Oh, and that clothesline was going to be hit again, but Edward Elric ducks very wisely, knowing the consequences. And there it is. Edward Elric. Alchemy. Nails the alchemy onto Mugen. Now Edward Elric mouthed it off the ref. He's going to go for the cover here. Can he get it? One. Two. No. And Mugen's head rises up. In a millisecond away from losing that title tonight. And oh my god, Edward Ulrich once again is gonna go for another alchemy. Nails it onto the champ. And that's two within the span of 30 seconds. But Edward Ulrich is too weak right now to capitalize. Mugen goes, gets right back up, and Mugen drop toe holds Edward Ulrich. I believe Edward could have got the pin in the win here. Had he just capitalized, but the stamina was running out in that clothesline once again. Sends down Elric. And now Mugen will drop the proverbial elbow right onto the chest of the Full Metal Alchemist. Now the stunts will begin onto the face of Edward. And look at that, Mugen will not resist. Look at that chin lock onto Elric. Will wear him down. And he does. Now Elric's neck is just hurting him. Close line once again. You gotta admit. You gotta admit Edward Elric's neck is just killing him. As that elbow drops right into the throat. And now Mugen. Once again gassed. Edward Elric is a tough competitor. And I think Mugen realizes that now. And a knee right onto the other knee of Edward Elric. Cover. One, two, three. Oh, no, me going with the sh two count on his part. Grapple here. No, that would help reverse that attempt. And a gut wrench suplex takes down the champ. As that would Eric's head and neck must be killing him softly. One, two. No, me going to get up. Knee to the gut. Kick to the gut. Another one. And another one. And another one. And another one. And I believe Elric's going to complete the circle of life here. Follow Elric. He knows the way. And that is exactly what he's going to do. I thought I was just kidding. And the drop kick will end that sequence right there. And now with Elric down and out once again. Mugen. Close line missed. That would okay with a duck in time. Oh man, a spear. Followed by some punches by Mugen. What a title match here. What a main event tonight. On this wild night here on ACW Impulse. On a rake to the eyes. Onto the television champion. The roll up. This could do it. One, two, three. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A two count for Elwood Elric. That was very close. But the elbows catch Mugen's face. And another roll by Edward Elric. One, two. And Mugen gets the shoulder up again. And it's starting to become desperation time from Edward Elric to do whatever he can to pin the champ and walk out a two-time television champion. As Mugen just nailed those stomps. But once again, it's feeling the effects of Edward Elric's offense here. A punch to the face. And another one. The man that can capitalize in the nick of time will win this match in the title, in my opinion. Edward Elric, Bulldog from behind. This is what a Bulldog is, but, you know. What would you do from front? A Bulldog from front. Hmm. 
Back to the match. Mugen punches onto Elwood Elric. Elwood Elric. He's gonna wrench the arm here. Snaps it down. Elwood Elric holding his gut here. Punch. No blocked. Elwood Elric. Punch again by Mugen. Punch. Mugen once again losing his momentum there. Grapple. No arm ringer. Wrenches the arm down. Elwood Elric now feeling the attack mode. Elwood Elric pushes Mugen. Close line missed. Mugen punched the missed. Punch. Both men are just out of fumes at this point. That's the dedication that they have to become Telvin champion. Oh, look at this, the kendo! The kendo by Mugen, nailed! And Elwood Elric flying and flipping and flopping and doing all the hippity hopping. But Elwood Elric got back up! How the hell did he get back up? And Mugen will push him aside. Close line missed. Elwood Elric punch missed. Grapple. Irish whip and a hole. Oh, no, Mugen goes down. Could not complete the run. But Elwood Elric able to get up from that kendo. And another Irish whip. Oh my goodness, an Irish whip. A hard one. Send them to the exposed turnbuckle. The one that he unraveled that the ref didn't see earlier in the match. And the ref goes down. And this is where Elwood Elric will excel at. This is where he will excel at. If Mugen is not careful, on oh, another one. Another strong Irish trip into the exposed turnbuckle. And if Mugen is not careful, he could be losing his title tonight because this is where Edward Elric excels at, being an opportunist as he overshot that elbow from the turnbuckle. And this is looking like all Elric at this point. Elric knows how to be a champion. He has been a champ before. And there's the arm ringer. And Elric Elric is not going to let go. He's not going to let go. But he is tired. And now what? Elric Elric's thinking, now what? Takes him down with a couple of punches there. And Mugen does not know what to do. Elric Elric's nefarious tactics have just blindsided him. Oh my god. Oh my god, Elwood Elric, if he nails this, could, this could do it. The spear from the corner, boom. And we have a new champ. We have a new television champion, folks. But Elwood Elric, slow and groggy to get up, not able to capitalize. And oh, look at this, a back body drop. A back suplex onto the ref. And now Elwood Elric, oh no. He's going to look for a weapon here. He's going to look for a weapon here. Hey, wait a minute. Gora. There he is. And the referee has seen enough and has rang the bell. And Edward Elric will win this match. Mugen's still the champ, but that's not the story here. And look at this. Look at this. The clothesline that Gora did not. That Elwood Elric, look at this. Gora punching Edward Elric from the corner on the outside of the barricade. Gar earlier tonight said he was going to come after Elwood Elric one way or another. And this is one way to do it. Elwood Elric does not even know what the hell's going on. Gar taking him down. Gar not in the mood to play around. Oh my god. Backbreaker. And you can ring that bell all you want. Gar is not going to stop. He will not stop. And look at this. Gara. He's going to smash it with Elric's face onto the steel steps here. No remorse. The war between these two is still going on. Oh, no. Look at this. Look at this. The sand claw. And he's going to toss him onto the steel steps. And Gora. And look at this again. Look at, look at how he tosses him onto the steel steps. Just watch. The sand claw. And Gora. That's one. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sagat. Oh, a chair shot. No. DDT onto the chair. What the hell is going on here? Moose salt. Sagat earlier tonight interrupting Gara. When Gara wanted that word out earlier. Sagat telling Gara that they will meet sooner rather than later. And that time is right now. And Sagat looks for the opportunity to take out Gar, and that's exactly what he's doing. And look at this bridge! Look at this bridge submission! But Sagat to go! 
Aurora and the crowd pulling their heads off as Sagan is not stopping his offense out the door. Oh my God, that knee to the groin. Sagan making sure Aurora understands who he's dealing with right here and right now. That back sleep lies onto the ramp. And an instant replay, that chair shot. Followed by another one, followed by a DDT onto the chair, and then this bridge submission. And they're still not done. Or at least the god still not done. Look at this. Oh my god. Not on the ramp. Not on the ramp. Tiger Supas! No! 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 After all that, Sagat will be the one to stand tall tonight. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, what's he doing? Come on! Super kick to add insult to injury. So God, after all that, we'll get the last word. And it's far from over. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to HW Impulse 31. And what a night. And I believe the night's not over yet. And there he is. Trunks. Well, we had our main event. Mugen and Edward Elric. Gara attacking Edward Elric. Causing a disqualification for Edward Elric. Sagat attacking Gara. That was supposed to be the end of Impulse. But we did get word during the Elric's Mugen match that Trunks wanted to say something, and I believe he's gonna say it right now. Wait a minute! Vegeta! 
Vegeta! What is with Vegeta? What is he doing? Vegeta just... Vegeta just attacked his own son! Oh my god! Oh, not another ring bell shot! And it looks like the same regime is about to implement their power on Trunks tonight! Oh my god, not a damn suplex onto the floor! As wretched as Vegeta is, I never expected him to attack his own son because he didn't want to join an unholy regime, a manipulative and evil regime that Gohan formed earlier tonight at the start of the show. And he's just attacking his son relentlessly. This is sick. Sick that Vegeta has sided with Broly. And not only that, but to be willing to attack his own son with that final flash. Oh my god. Oh, and I don't even want to talk about this in the replays right now. But oh, look at that. Look at this. Look at the mayhem that these two are causing. Oh my god. Wait a minute, go back to the live feed. Wait, 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 go back to the. There's the final flash. Go back to the live speed right now. Oh my god, they're, 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 they're assaulting my table right now. Oh my god, don't do this. Don't do this, Regina. Come on. Oh my god. The final flash through my table. What the hell is up to Regina's mind right now? And boy, to add insult to injury with the Omega.